Hello students, I am Moshumi Moitra from Techno India Group Public School, Shiliguri. Today I am here to discuss mathematics of class 12, chapter 2, inverse trigonometric functions. In this whole chapter, I will discuss what is inverse trigonometric function, then its different properties and use of these properties in different sums. So first thing is we have to know what is inverse trigonometric functions. Here trigonometric functions actually are uh, many one function. But we know that for inverse function it exists if the function is 1 1 or on 2. That means it is it should be bijective. But maybe sine inverse, cos inverse, tan inverse, all the inverse, these are actually not 1, 1 or uh, we ha if we can restrict the domain of this trigonometric functions, then the function become bijective and inverse of this trigonometric functions are then defined within the restricted domain. So that time we can say the inverse of f, it is f inverse and Suppose y uh, we, had we are denoting y is equal to fx is equal to sin x then inverse of x is equal to sin inverse y that we can denote. So for a restricted domain trigonometric functions have inverse. Now let us see different uh, domain and range of inverse trigonometric functions. Here which one I have given that all are restricted domain and range. So sin inverse x its domain is minus 1 to 1 and the range is minus pi by 2 to plus pi by 2. Next cos inverse x this is also same way restricted domain minus 1 to plus 1 and range is 0 to pi. Tan inverse x here x belongs to real number. And range is minus pi by 2 to plus pi by 2. Then cosec inverse x. Here x belongs to also real number. Except minus 1 to plus 1 point. Then here inverse, uh, the, uh, inverse of cosec inverse range is minus pi by 2 to plus pi by 2. Except the 0 point. That is why except 0 point. Because you just check cosec inverse x means 1 by sin inverse x. So Mm, uh, sin x is 0, sin 0 is 0, that means 1 by 0 it cannot be defined. So, except 0 point cosec inverse x exists. Then is sec inverse x, sec inverse x is also belongs to a real number except this minus 1 and plus 1 point. Here is also the range, um, restricted range is 0 to pi except this pi by 2 point. Same way as um, uh, cosec inverse 0 is not uh, de defined. Same way sec inverse pi by 2 also is not defined. Then cot inverse x here is also x belongs to real number and the range is 0 to pi. So we have to remember this range of these uh, inverse these all are belongs to this first uh, this quadrant if we think about this four quadrants then first quadrant second quadrant and third qu fourth quadrant there is no um, third quadrant it is not related to this range of this inverse trigonometric inverse so first and second qu fourth quadrant sine inverse x is um, uh, range valid there then tan inverse x range again first and um, fourth quadrant but except this pi by 2 and plus pi by 2 and minus pi by 2 point. Then um, same way cosec inverse also. So sine inverse, tan inverse, cosec inverse these three almost are related. Again cos inverse x and uh, cot inverse and sec inverse these three are related. So now let's see, let's see more uh, properties. Here sin inverse sin x is equal to x if we write only this much that is sin inverse and sin will be cancelled is equal to x but it is wrong we have to mention the value of x it belongs to minus pi by 2 to plus pi by 2 means the range we have to um, write here otherwise this thing is wrong same way cos inverse cos x equal to x x belongs to 0 to pi 
that means if it is more than pi it cannot be belongs to we cannot write cos inverse cos x equals to x so this we have to remember the range this range is again called principal value branch also so next property just take in the second column sin of sin inverse x is equal to x so same way here also sin of sin inverse can be cancelled um, but we cannot cut it simply we will cancel it and we will write it as x where x belongs to minus 1 to 1 means always we have to mention the range because if you not mention in your problem then marks will be deducted will be cut like that so next properties come on uh, let's see sin inverse 1 by x is equal to cosec inverse x and where x belongs to real number where um, except this minus 1 and plus 1 point similarly cos inverse 1 by x is sec inverse x then tan inverse 1 by x is cot inverse x sin inverse x is equal minus x is equal to si minus sin inverse x cos inverse minus x equal to pi minus cos inverse x tan inverse minus x equal to minus tan inverse x cot inverse minus x equal to pi minus cot inverse my x sec inverse minus x is pi minus sec inverse x cosec inverse x is minus x is minus cosec inverse x so you have to remember here that is sine inverse then cosec inverse and tan inverse minus of that minus will come front and cos inverse sec inverse and cot inverse it will be pi minus cot inverse pi minus cos inverse or pi minus sec inverse now come on to the next properties sin inverse x plus cos inverse x is equal to pi by 2 then where x belongs to minus 1 to plus 1 tan inverse x plus cot inverse x is equal to pi by 2 same way x belongs to real number then sec inverse x plus cosec inverse x is equal to pi by 2 where x belongs to real number except minus 1 to plus 1 point now addition property that is tan inverse x plus tan inverse y is equal to tan inverse x plus y by 1 minus x y one thing we have to remember that is denominator is 1 minus x y that means denominator should not be 0 that is x y should be less than 1 and tan inverse x minus tan inverse y same uh, property same thing tan inverse only the difference in minus plus minus that is uh, previous one was x plus y now it will be x minus y by 1 plus x y next is 2 tan inverse x is equal to sin inverse 2 x by 1 plus x square this uh, the last three properties are almost similar 2 tan inverse x equal to cos inverse 1 minus x square by 1 plus x square 2 tan inverse x equal to tan inverse 2 x by 1 minus x square so the range you have to mention another properties actually these properties are not mentioned in NCRT batch book but it is also we uh, some problem for uh, solving some problems uh, we require this uh, properties so let us see once sine inverse x plus sine inverse y is equal to sine inverse x root 1 minus y square plus y into root 1 minus x square so sine inverse x minus sine inverse y same type only the difference in sine then cos inverse x plus cos inverse y is equal to cos inverse x y minus under root 1 minus x square into 1 minus y square same way cos inverse uh, minus cos inverse x minus cos inverse y is also the same way cos inverse x y plus root over 1 minus x square into 1 minus y square same only the difference in sign now i have discussed few important boards questions that has come in last few years okay so check it once here tan inverse under root 1 plus x minus under root 1 minus x by denominator root uh, 1 plus x plus root 1 minus x is equal to we have to prove pi by 4 minus half cos inverse x this is generally a 4 marks question it is it is a 4 marks question. 
So let x is equal to, I had written here cos theta. So under root it is 1 plus cos theta or maybe 1 minus cos theta. Formula of 1 cos plus cos theta is 2 cos square theta by 2. And 1 minus cos theta formula is uh, 2 sin square theta by 2. So under root if it is, then after uh, outside the root it will be, uh, after square root it will be root 2 into cos theta by 2 minus root 2 into sin theta by 2. So from both denominator and numerator root 2 will be common and root 2 can be cancelled also. So after that both the numerator and denominator dividing by cos theta by 2 we will get 1 minus uh, sin theta by 2 by cos theta by 2 by 1 plus sin theta by 2 by cos theta by 2 that means tan inverse 1 minus tan theta by 2 by 1 plus tan theta by 2. Now in place of 1 if we write tan pi by 4 so it is now tan pi by 4 minus tan theta by 2 by 1 plus tan pi by 4 into tan theta by 2 that is equal to this is the formula of tan x minus tan y that is tan pi by 4 minus tan theta by 2. So this tan inverse tan will be cancelled since this pi by 4 minus theta by 2 it belongs to this uh, interval of tan my means minus pi by 2 to open interval plus pi by 2. So uh, this uh, tan inverse tan will be cancelled it is pi by 4 minus theta by 2. So in place of theta half will come outside and in place of theta we can write uh, from this x is equal to cos theta we can write theta is equal to cos inverse x. Now that value of theta we have to put here. So at the end we are getting pi by 4 minus half cos inverse x. Another important sum this also come as uh, uh, 2017 4 marks question. Check it now tan inverse um, x minus 3 by x plus x minus 1 plus tan inverse x plus 3 by x plus 1. Uh, it is x plus 4 yes is equal to pi by 4. Uh, then we have to find out the value this is solve solve for x. Uh, here we will use the formula that is tan inverse x plus tan inverse y is equal to tan inverse x plus y by 1 minus xy. So let us check now um, this uh, using this formula we will get tan inverse. So a big uh, calculation is here that is x minus 3 by x minus 4 plus x plus 3 by x plus 4 by 1 minus this into this is equal to pi by 4. So next step what can we can do this uh, whole thing in the left hand side we can keep and tan inverse we can keep it right side that is right side now it will become tan pi by 4 that means 1. So after calculation we are getting 2x square minus 24 by minus 7 is equal to my 1. So 2x square minus 24 is equal to minus 7. So 2x square is equal to 17 that means x is equal to plus minus under root 17 by 2. Another important sum it has come in 2016 same type of sum but little bit tricky. Uh, I had shown before in my previous video. So check it once more tan inverse x minus tan inverse y formula we, uh, we have not used the formula is equal to tan inverse 2x that is um, we have to prove this. So left hand we have started with the left hand side tan inverse 6x minus 8x cube by 1 minus uh, 12x square. So here we have to use um, 3 into 2x minus 2x whole cube by 1 minus 3 into 2x whole square. So this in place of 2x if we write tan theta now it become 3 tan theta minus tan cube theta by 1 minus 3 tan square theta. And the right second term also the same way 2 tan theta by 1 minus tan square theta. Tan inverse uh, now first term become tan inverse tan 3 theta second term minus tan inverse tan 2 theta. So tan inverse tan will be cancelled and uh, this is 3 theta and minus tan inverse tan cancel 2 theta so answer is theta theta means from uh, where we have put uh, 2x equal to tan theta so from there theta is equal to tan inverse 2x that we can put in place of theta. Next is solve for x 
another sum this is also uh, there in 2016 this is also a four marks question uh, tan inverse x minus 1 plus tan inverse x plus tan inverse x plus 1 this is equal to tan inverse 3x we have to solve so what we have done here tan inverse x minus 1 and x plus 1 kept it in the left hand side and right hand side taken tan inverse 3x is already there and tan inverse x I have taken to the right hand side. So both the sides we have used tan inverse x plus tan inverse y formula and another one is tan inverse x minus tan inverse y formula. So left hand side it is coming tan inverse uh, x minus 1 plus x plus 1 by 1 minus x minus 1 into x plus 1 right side tan inverse 3x minus x by 1 plus 3x into x that is x minus y formula tan inverse x minus tan inverse y formula. So both the side tan inverse will be cancelled uh, after a little bit calculation 2x by 2 minus x square is equal to 2x by 1 plus 3x square. So by cross multiplication we will get 1 plus 3x square is equal to 2 minus x square and 4x square afterwards we will get is equal to 1 so x equal to plus minus half 1 by 2. Another important sum that is coming uh, it was there in 2015 so tan inverse x plus 1 almost same type of sum like previous one uh, i have not solved this one so you have to go last see you have to see the previous sum and the uh, same way you have to solve it also you have to find out the value of x the second uh, 2004 the next sum also same type of sum uh, you go through that previous sums and uh, you can uh, you will be able to solve this so i have not yet solved that one also another third sum in this slide that is cos tan inverse x is equal to sine cot sine of cot inverse 3 by 4 it has come in 2013 so this uh, we have written cos tan inverse x in place of cos theta i have written here sine pi minus theta so sine pi minus tan inverse x is equal to right hand side same as it is. Next step both the sides pi pi will be cancelled. So pi minus tan inverse x is equal to cot inverse 3 by 4. So tan inverse x plus cot inverse 3 by 4 is equal to pi. Again we know one property is tan inverse x plus cot inverse x is equal to pi. So if we compare these last two lines then we will get cot inverse x is equal to cot inverse 3 by 4 that means x is equal to 3 by 4. Next this sum has come in uh, 2009 that is also important sum. Here I have used 1 by tan inverse 1 by 5 and tan inverse 1 by 7 together again tan inverse 1 by 3 and 1 by 8 together. So tan inverse x plus tan inverse y formula tan inverse x plus y by 1 minus xy but one thing we have to check xy should be less than 1 so xy means here 1 by 5 into 1 by 7 obviously it is less than 1 similarly 1 by 3 into 1 by 8 that is also less than 1 so uh, after calculation we are getting tan inverse 12 by 34 plus tan inverse 11 by 23 so again uh, just uh, first term I have cancelled by 2 then uh, tan inverse again x plus tan inverse y formula so after that we are getting tan inverse 1 so in place of 1 we can write tan pi by 4 so tan inverse tan cancelled and answer is pi by 4 so these all are for these uh, inverse trigonometric functions you just go through the uh, video and just uh, learn all the properties this principal value branch this is very very important for solving each and every sums you have to mention the range and domain uh, for each in a trigonometric functions and all the important sums also i have discussed in this whole video thank you